Hello everybody, Prowl here. I am back with another add-on that I wanna show you. And this one is absolutely incredible. I, I wasn't thinking about doing another add-on video, but I saw this and I had to bring it to you guys because this is something that a lot of you, so many of you told me that you wish was in the game now. And these are the types of add-ons I love. Ones that feel like they can fit in vanilla Minecraft and that like fill a void that a ton of people want. And what we're going to do with this one is I'm going to make a copy of my Bedrock Guide world here and we're going to implement it in the copy of the world to show you guys how it works and to show you how to get this add on. You're going to go to the marketplace. You're going to go to the little hammer on the left hand side here that takes you to add ons. And oh, it's right here on the main page right now for me. It is the XP crystal bank this thing looks awesome i've not purchased it yet i just found out a little bit of information about it and we're going to take a look together and we're going to see if this thing is worth the one dollar and 99 cent for you guys by seeing what kind of capabilities that it really has how it works how it can fit into your world and that sort of thing a couple of things to keep in mind because people have been asking me this in a lot of these videos number one you cannot have achievements in your world if you use any kind of add-on that is a behavior pack, which is anything that appears in the add on section here. If it's a texture pack, something that changes how blocks look or your skin or whatever, those are fine. Those let you keep achievements, but anything that changes any kind of behavior of the game does not. So disclaimer out of the way there. And another thing is I've been asked this a couple of times now too. This will work in your single player world. It'll work for people that try to join your single player world and it will work for Minecraft realms. If you have a server with an external host that's not a Minecraft realm, at this time, you cannot use add-ons that come from the marketplace on those. Hopefully in the future, I've not heard anything about this, but I hope it's something that they can find a way to make happen. Anyways, we're gonna purchase this with our mine coins. We're going to download it and we're gonna apply it to our world. Now, whether you're adding it on a new world or you wanna put it on an existing world that you already have, you wanna go into the world settings or the create world screen. In this case, we're gonna to go to the world settings by clicking the little settings button. This screen will look the same though. You're gonna to go to behavior packs. You're gonna to go to my packs and you're going to find that add-on. We have the XP crystal bank add-on right here. We're going to activate it. And when you start, you're gonna start with several things in your inventory. You're gonna start with a guide and a wiki. The wiki you can place down and kind of just gives you like general information about it at a glance, as you can see, just like this. Um, but we can also open the guide and it'll give us information in here about the bank and how it works. So first of all, it's saying that it functions a lot like an ender chest. Basically, you can place two banks down. Those banks connect together, right? So I could put a bank somewhere at a source where I can get a lot of XP or store a lot of XP, or I can put a bank down somewhere where I spend a lot of XP. I could put one in my base. I could put one at my spawn location. I could put these in a lot of different areas. Now it tells you the things that it adds to the game, the crystal bank, the dispenser, the crystal bank wiki, and a personal account. Um, you also have a wrench slash hammer slash crowbar, which are different tools. And if we want to learn about the individual blocks here that have been added to the game, we can click on them and it will tell us about it. This is the crystal bank. Although similar to an ender chest, the XP crystal bank device stores the XP per world, not per player. As a result, you're able to share your XP with friends and family. So if you want to make an XP bank that a lot of people can use, this is what you want. This is going to be your communal XP bank. Our crafting recipes, how to use, and everything will be in here. And we're gonna go over that as we make it. Um, but again, we have other ones right here. The personal account, which is a XP account for just you that other players cannot store or access. Again, this one's more like the ender chest, okay? And then you have the dispenser, which will actually give you XP orbs instead of giving you XP directly to your bar. And this would be good for mending up tools, armor, and things like that. So to craft these different things, we're going to want to go to our crafting table and there's a few supplies that you're going to want to have on you. You're going to want to have emeralds, gold, redstone and obsidian. And this will allow us to get the XP personal account. Oh, and we need glowstone dust as well. And we'll make a crystal bank. We need a crystal bank to make a dispenser and we'll make ourselves another crystal bank. So we have it. So here we have the three main things. So let's go ahead, let's place these down and we'll just place them down here for now. Oh, and the personal account is not an item that you place, but rather it's one that you hold in your hand. Interesting. 
So our tools here, they're pretty basic. They're really just for like interacting with these things because you can't just punch it and break it. That's how you like withdraw or like put things in. So instead, if you want to turn it, you have to use the wrench. And it looks like it turns it at a 45 degree angle. Um, you also have a crowbar, which will nudge it. And I'll move it over. And you have a hammer, which if you click on it, interact with it, not swing it, but interact with it, it will break it or give it to you. Now, if we would like to put XP in our bank here, what we need to do is click on it. Um, I think punch it. Yeah, and it puts all of our experience in. Now, if we want to pull experience out, we can click or interact it and it will start to withdraw that experience. You can kind of see it withdraws pretty quickly and it will eventually move us all the way back up to where we've taken all of our XP back out. Now I can click any time to start and stop it. If I want to put the XP back in, I can simply right click it and put it back in. Now also we have the dispenser here and you can see I have my elytra, which is a little worse for wear right now. It's a little weak. So if I click this, you can see it is throwing XP orbs out at me whenever I click. And when you move too far away, it will shut down. And whenever I want to get off of it, I can just click it again and that turns it off. So as you can see right now, I only have one level. I can deposit this level in. I can fly to an XP farm that I may have in my world. In this case, I have my quad general mob farm here on the Bedrock Guide world. I can sit here and get XP for a little bit. And once I have a bunch of levels again, whether it be from an XP farm or I just go adventuring or whatever the case may be, now I can go back to my bank wherever I happen to have put it. Again, remember you can place multiple of them around your world. They are all connected to each other and I can punch to deposit all of my levels. And as you can see, it shows how much XP it has stored. Now, the personal account, again, is where you will store your own personal XP. Right now, I don't have any XP stored in my personal account, but that's okay, right? What I can do is I can come over to this guy. I can pull some XP out of here. We'll get about 30 levels worth. There we go. Now I can click on our personal account and deposit all of the XP. And you see it shows the 1,407 XP. I have zero levels right now. If I withdraw all of it, it all goes into my XP bar. I just wanted to do one other test here, which was we took all of our XP out of there. And obviously we can't we can't use this, right? It doesn't have any XP in it. But if we put it in our personal account, deposit all, and then we go here. No, we cannot get it out. So if you want to dispense, you will have to use the like world bank, the bank that everybody together shares. If you're playing by yourself, then that doesn't really matter. If you're not and you're playing with other people, I could see how this could be maybe a slight problem as maybe some people would maybe leech off of or welch off of the system more than others, but kind of take that into consideration when you are deciding if you want to use this add on or not. But either way, it's pretty cool. I do like the way that it works and it definitely has its uses. So whenever you go out on an adventure and you have a decent amount of XP, you can store it away or you can farm a whole lot of XP at a mob farm and store it away where it's safe. And then whenever you need yourself 30 levels so you could do some enchanting or you need a few levels to combine things on an anvil, you can come here, easily get what you need, use it, and then easily throw it back. Also, it makes it really efficient for how you use XP because when you spend your XP, you actually spend it via the like number of levels that you have, right? And you can see this when I go to interact with this is the initial levels come really quick because they take very little XP to level up. So anytime you need 10 levels, let's say, you may want to just come here and quickly grab those 10 levels and then use them and then they're gone as opposed to waiting till you get all the way up to level 30 40 50 like you may be at your like farm at your afking at it's just a lot less efficient use of your xp so i guess also this will help you use your xp potentially a lot more efficiently anyways though i thought this add-on was pretty fun i can see how it fits into a vanilla minecraft type world although the the structures the, the blocks themselves don't look very vanilla minecrafty the use itself is something that i've heard a lot of people say they want so there you go there you have it if if you found it interesting, then pick it up in the marketplace. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts about the XP bank down below. Cause I'm kind of curious if people like it or not. I don't know, but thanks again, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.